Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. And now you might notice that uh, my bot is uh, a lot bigger than it used to be. Uh, I've actually uh, added uh, quite a bit more to it. We remember we got these uh, giant yellow blocks right here. These uh, these uh, Geocore, the big one blocks. Really, really nice for getting rid of a whole bunch of these uh, little small ones. And I say small ones, but they're really not that small. The Geocore basic block, which are about, uh, I think, what, four times the size of a normal uh, GSO block. So pretty nice to get those uh, those yellow blocks. The only downside I've seen to it is trying to get these big ones, th these ones right here, to actually uh, go upwards vertical, like these uh, little small ones are here on this side is incredibly difficult to do and uh, I wasn't even able to do it at all. So I don't know if they're not able to do that or if it's just one of those things that uh, they're not making it easy on you. So there is still a place for these uh, smaller yellow blocks and you can see I kind of kept those on the side so that I could add wheels. And basically what this is is uh, one giant base spot on top of another giant base spot uh, and then eventually maybe even another giant base spot if the game or the computer can handle and as you can see I'm already getting a little bit of lag here when he starts to fire uh, the lag increases dramatically so I will be starting a new game with the uh, the new patch that they've actually uh, just put out uh, I think it's 5.7 which is what they're on right now uh, they've added a lot of things to it but before I do that I definitely did want to uh, just come on here and show you guys my new bot holy crap this lag is horrible this is almost unplayable like this but when he's not firing all the lag disappears and I think what the the problem is is the more things on the screen for it to render uh, the worse it gets and I'm in a pretty uh, dense forest right now if I go out to the desert I've noticed that I can fire pretty good uh, and nothing uh, really happens there's not a whole lot of lag uh, they have made changes to the game uh, as time has gone on and it has increased the amount of blocks that can be on here. If you guys remember on one of my other playthroughs on a previous patch, I couldn't even have gotten, you know, one third of the blocks that were here to, uh, to be on my screen and it would have froze completely. These little dudes, they cause me the biggest trouble because I just cannot hit them for the life of me. Really, the only weapon I have that uh, constantly hits them is uh, my mortars. The other ones seem to have a very, very hard time targeting him until he gets right up on top of me and by then you know he usually tries to explode right underneath my bot which is just a, a nightmare to and another reason I think I'm getting a lot of lag is when I zoom out you guys will see off in the distance is another giant base bot that is just uh, breaming with weapons all those little dots you see on him are friggin weapons and I think he's going to completely annihilate us I don't know for sure but we'll have to see how this works out Thankfully, we do have a lot of trees here, but because I have so many uh, repair bubbles and uh, shield bubbles, my power dwindles down incredibly fast. Look at all this. Look at, at that. He is just breaming with weapons from head to toe, and I am just annihilating his, his bot. Holy crap. I was not expecting to do that. Ah, crap. Now he's gotten on the side of me. My weakness. Ah, crap. We're going to have to move. Let's go forward and see if we can turn around. Now the bot, the back of my bot has almost no repair bubbles or shield generators uh, to speak of, and has almost no weapons. And that's mainly for the fact that I can't keep weapons for anything. They destroy my weapons every time they attack, and I always end up with fewer weapons than when I started. Although this bot right here might be a little different if I can uh, keep any of his weapons alive, uh, you know, without destroying every single one of them, which again becomes very, very difficult to do. Uh, when you start getting this many weapons on your bot. Like, it, it takes so long to stop firing. Ugh, this lag is just nasty. I do apologize for this. It's probably pretty frustrating to watch a video like this. I hate lag on, on videos that I watch. But you can see it just clears up completely when I stop firing. <laughs> it's it's the weapons. It's too much for the, the game. Ugh, oh, come on, kill him. It might be a combination of the game and my computer, but considering... The fact that it clears up when I get to certain areas more than others, and the fact that they've actually talked about it in, in earlier patches uh, and fixing that kind of issue, uh, kind of lead towards the belief that it's probably a little bit more to do with the game. Holy crap, we just completely annihilated. It looked like fireworks going off there. 
tons and tons of weapons still on the ground. Uh, not in very good shape. So I will pick up all this stuff. Oh, he had a couple of uh, uh, battery packs on his character right there. I definitely can use those. It allows me to go a little bit longer without having to, uh, to go back and collect uh, more fuel. What are these over here? Those look like more battery packs, to be honest. Okay. I'm still hoping to get one of those uh, items that we are, we are looking for where I can make stuff. Uh, we haven't been able to find any of those yet. I hope they add more into the game. I, I wish there was a way you could, you know, maybe spend cash and talk to your... Because uh, you're supposed to be working for, like, a corporation. You know, it's like they dropped you off on the planet and you're doing, like, recon or something along those lines. And, you know, if there was something like that where you could contact them and be like, hey, I'm missing a valuable piece of, of my base that kind of hampers me from continuing further and actually uh, being able to make progress in the game. Uh, you know, could you guys send it along ahead uh, in one of the shipments or something? I'd be willing to pay, you know, cash for it or something. Uh, you know, not like real cash, but like game cash or whatever. And that would be kind of a neat little way of, you know, integrating the, uh, the corporation kind of thing into the game and allowing you to get pieces that, for whatever reason, you're, you've already missed. You know, like, uh, and my reasons are when I did get the chance to do it, uh, you know, I didn't have enough space on my bot at the time. And so I had to uh, leave, and I was like, okay, I'll just come back to it and pick it up in a minute once I drop everything else off. And when I got back to that location, uh, pretty much uh, the enemy had shown up and just uh, annihilated all the base pieces there. Which is pretty weird because I hadn't touched it yet. Like, until you touch it and pick it up, it doesn't really become yours, and you don't uh, have the option to then go in and buy it. Which, isn't, uh, which is what I didn't do. I should have. So that even if it had gotten destroyed, I would still have had that option, but... I didn't do that, and the enemy still, you know, looked at it as if it was mine, and because it was the enemy's bot beforehand, I don't think that should have been the case. I think maybe that was, uh, you know, unintended bug or, uh, you know, something they were planning on changing in future patches. Uh, look at all these weapons, man. Just tons and tons of weapons. They're all damaged, and I will repair them fairly soon here. We're just going to pick them all up for now, because, again, with this many things on the ground, uh, you know, they're going to despawn rather quickly. It doesn't take long at all. And we get a couple more shield generators out of this. Not that the game could probably handle it anyways, but... Oh, crap. Look at this. I'm trying to pick it up, and I can't even pick it up because there's just so much lag. There it goes. Probably because so many things are flashing on the screen. If we if we repaired stuff, it might make it a little bit easier. Let's do that real quick. Let's go in here and deforce this entire area. There's something on the map, but it didn't seem like it was that big, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Oh, and destroy it. And I really do need to add some weapons onto the side so I can fire in all directions. Ah, crap. Stupid little guy back there. Not gonna worry about him. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Oh my god, this is horrible, horrible leg. This is just another reason to start over. Oh, you know what? I wish I could just run him over. Like, I should be crushing him right now. Running him over like that. But instead, he's just sitting there underneath my wheels doing damage to me, which is kind of unfair. I mean, at this this level with this size of a bot I should just be able to crush his butt like just run him over and just completely annihilate him I think he's actually under, stuck underneath me yep he was stuck underneath me doing damage he's knocking some stuff off and he's actually getting repaired by my uh, my my repair bubbles and shield generator dude you get out of here I need to turn around <laughs> it takes me like an entire football field to turn around Come on. Stop chasing me, you little punk. If you don't stop chasing me, I will st Oh my god, there's another bot over there with all those weapons on it. Holy crap, guys. We gotta get out of here. Come on, move it. Get rid of that block already. Destroy it. Oh, uh, are they even hitting it? No, it's stuck like right in the one spot where I don't have any weapons. Come on, destroy it. Still nothing? Nope. Again, right in the one spot. And I'm surprised that other bot has not completely totally annihilated me yet. There we go. You're at it. Now I need to get over here. I need to get some of these resources. I need to heal up. I didn't get to pick up all those weapons though. There we go. And you can see the resources. They do still get underneath your bot. They still do try to pick you up. It's it's a little annoying at times when that happens. But uh, you know it's just part of the game that you kind of have to uh, accept and deal with until they fix that and I have no doubt they will eventually because I've heard on the newest patch they actually added a, uh, a day and night cycle which I am 
pretty excited about playing. And they also apparently revamped the uh, graphics for the resources, so they actually blend in to the landscape a little bit more, which actually makes sense. You know, like right now they stand out a whole lot, and if it was a, a true you know, actual planet, you know, resources really don't, blend, you know, stand out. Like, trees blend in, they look natural. Uh, you know, rocks blend in, they, they're, like, stuck underneath trees and around trees, and, you know, it's not one of those things where you're like, oh, okay, that's a resource. It's just, there's the planet, you know, and it just looks natural in its own habitat. And so I guess that's what they're trying to go for, a more realistic uh, feel to it. I think this game could still go either way if they really wanted to. I'd be happy to play this game as a unrealistic, uh, you know, funny, zany, blow em up shooter kind of thing. Uh, it has that, uh, that kind of wackiness to it if it wanted to, but I think they're going down the more realistic path. What is that on his head? In the top, there's like a, I don't know, there's like a huge thing coming off the top of it. Are those batteries? Do he have batteries on top of his bot all the way up to the top? I can't really quite see it from this distance. Come on. Don't go around me. Yeah, they're battery packs. And he's almost completely out on his battery pack. Holy crap, he has tons and tons of batteries. What are their deal with batteries? They're great, but they don't even have freaking shields on right now. Like, how long do their shields last that they run out before they even get to me? That's pretty bad. Come on, get to him. Where is his main bot? I wish there was a way that you could see... Like, uh, maybe give you a, an advanced radar unit or something that will allow you to see where the exact cab position is so that you can kind of aim towards it. Because right now I'm just hitting everything and completely annihilating anything that's there. And if there is anything valuable there, it's not going to be there for very much longer. Come on. I want, you know, part of this intact. I hate, I hate destroying a bot and getting, like, nothing from it. Come on. There we go. Wow, okay, so lots and lots of little gray blocks, which I don't really care for. Get some more battery packs. Not nearly as many as he had, but uh, better than nothing. Uh, a lot more weapons. Thank you, yes. We'll take the weapons. Uh, a couple more base pieces. A couple of these. You know, I've actually seen these used as uh, protective gear, like on the front of your, your bot. I've seen them put it on like the side like this, going uh, vertical. Can I do it? How do I how do I get that to go vertical? There, like that. So if you put it up on your your bot going vertical, I've seen them do that on the sides, and they just use it as a shield. But it also picks up you know pieces that they uh, they may also want to sell as well. So it does serve a couple purposes. But it's pretty cool how they have uh, you know come up with different ideas for the bots. And I've heard that most of these are player made uh, designs. So. That's pretty cool to already be seeing those. I can't wait until multiplayer comes out because that is going to be one of the uh, the best features to this game, I think, is is just uh, pitting your bot against... Uh, oh, we got a new piece. No, that's just a wheel. I thought that was like a drill or something. Um, come on, get out of there. I don't need you underneath my wheel. Let's see, what else is over here? Anything good? Uh, well, I mean, I won't say it's not good, but... It's nothing fantastic. A couple more yellow pieces, and of course I could always use more of those. Uh, in fact, let's let's put those down. We get rid of this. I don't need that up there. Let's see where are we gonna put this? Uh, we have an extra tire here that I've kind of been holding on to uh, because I just needed a few extra blocks. And let's put this down over here, and then we will do one more block. And the reason I do one more block is basically the only way to get this to be even with the other wheels is to do it halfway in between. And trying to get that to go down without uh, that extra block there is just impossible. It does not want to do just one layer, one little half of the wheel on that t on that uh, piece without the, uh, the extra block being there for the purpose solely of uh, putting the tire and then you can remove it and it's, it's all happy then, but... Until you do that, uh, it's it's definitely not happy to do that. And uh, you, you could sit there for like 20, 30 minutes. I have, uh, in between these videos, uh, sat there for a very, very long time trying to get this to be uh, the exact design and shape and stuff that I want. And, you know, it it's kind of frustrating at times because it doesn't always want to cooperate the way you want it to. And you're not sure if that's just because that's how they wanted it to be or if that's one of those little flaws that they're hoping to fix. It's one of those issues that you kind of run into when playing a, uh, 
a game still in development. Like you don't know what to complain about and what's what's still you know in development, and what's being uh, worked on at the moment and stuff like that. And I hate to nitpick on games like this because of that reason. You know, you just unless you go on there and read the message boards, and even then. By the time you read the message boards, uh, they're already usually coming out with the updated version of what they were just talking about on those boards. Like, they're usually not completely up to date. They're usually a week or two behind, and uh, like I said, it just makes it very, very difficult to... I uh, can't even reach that over there, can I? Let's get over there, because I want that battery. Although there's tons of them over here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Now, I could pick up all these items and, uh, you know, of course, sell them and make a little bit of cash on there, but as you guys can see, I don't really need uh, the cash. What I need is the pieces that I'm missing, and the only way to get those pieces at this moment is just to keep fighting, and so that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm doing, is, is just going off and getting into these big fights. Usually by the time I get done picking up all the pieces that the previous bot uh, you know, dropped, that's when uh, another bot is uh, ready to fight me, so I really have very little downtime unless I you know, I'm purposely uh, trying to avoid a fight, which uh, I usually do, like I said, in between the videos when I'm actually, you know, redesigning my bot and trying to make sure, uh, you know, it's ready to go for the next fight. Because as you can see, even with all these battery packs, uh, my, l my power is very, very low, so I need to go out and harvest some more trees. It just doesn't last very long because I have so many shield generators and, and recharge bubbles. And I, I said on one of the videos that the uh, the recharge bubbles, uh, the repair bubbles don't use any energy unless they're repairing, and that is not entirely true. I was told that they actually do. They both use energy when they're not being used, uh, but it's a very small amount. And then uh, when they're actually being fired upon, you know, that's of course when uh, they go into overdrive and they start using a lot more power uh, than they normally otherwise do. So. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we got everything there, so I just need to come over here and create some more lag by uh, chopping down another forest. <laughs> and it's crazy. I remember at the very beginning of the game, I would go over to uh, to the trees and I would chop down, you know, one or two trees with my weapons. Now, I literally take down 15, 20, 30 trees in the matter of seconds, and that's barely enough to keep up with, uh, you know, the, the kind of... Uh, energy that I'm going through because I just have such a huge bot. It's crazy how far we have come in this game and the fact that even when you get to this stage, there's still room for improvement. Like, I could still make my bot better and bigger and just add more and more stuff to it. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm stuck on. I have wheels everywhere. It should not have happened. I guess it was just the right spot for it. All these, these little hills in the right area. Here we go kill this guy already. There we go. Ah, it takes forever to kill those little guys. I kill the big guys faster than I kill the little guys. Oh, you know what it is. I think it's the wheel on the left. Or the blocks that I put over there waiting for a wheel to be put over there. Until I put one on, uh, it's not exactly the, uh, you know, it gets stuck very easy like that right there. If that goes down too much on the, on the corner, uh, it can get stuck incredibly easy there. Why am I not moving? Again, I'm not moving? What is wrong with this picture? Oh, there's rocks over here. And I did put these these crushers right here on the front of my bot. They're actually pretty cool. In fact, uh, Geocore Severus Headlight. Uh, this will chew up anything you press it up against. It's actually really strong. But the main reason I did that is so I wouldn't have to worry about these stupid blocks constantly getting in my way. And I guess if I made the front of my bot, uh, you know, even all the way down, it wouldn't. But because, as you can see on the front of my bot, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, free sides to it, basically, where the tires are unguarded. And that's usually why I get stuck, uh, you know, coming up to these things. Come on, let's chop this stuff down. There's a giant freaking forest out here. I'm not even close to being full on my power yet. In fact, how close am I? We're two yellows into, uh, into our power. And that's just because we have so many. So many batteries. I've never had this many batteries before. It's crazy. You know, there could be a downside to having batteries. I don't know if they explode. Like, uh, you know, if you have boosters, you need fuel. Uh, or things that can carry the fuel for you so that you can use your boosters for a longer period of time without them running out. They're highly explosive. And I won't put those on my bot simply for that reason. 
because with them on, you you have a chance of getting hit in the wrong area, and the enemies are very, very good at spotting those and shooting them. And when they explode, they take out like half your bot, or they damage, you know, half your bot all at once, and it's just amazing damage. Uh, I love shooting those on the enemy. You'll see that occasionally when I hit an enemy with those on. You know, like, they just explode for no reason out of the blue. You know, I've only done like four shots to them, but I managed to get the right shots. And uh, yeah, it's just too dangerous, but I don't see the batteries doing that too often. They may to a, a smaller extent. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to pay attention a little bit more often. I'm sick and tired of these little dudes. Little punk guys. I do want to go off into the desert as soon as I pick up enough of these resources. Wow, these trees just come back so quick. I hope they lower that because that's a... L I don't know if there's... You know, maybe it's because I'm chopping so many of them down. Maybe there has to be a certain number on the the map at any one given time and if you you know destroy half of the map uh, it goes ahead and just starts respawning the other half come on move yeah it's that left hand side it's gonna cause me issues I know it I should I should buy another wheel for it but I'm pretty sure we're gonna find one let's go off into the desert the great unknown and see what we are going to find well, we're gonna head north and we've done this a few times just to uh, kind of see what's there but I like coming out here into the desert oh, dang it Left hand side's gonna kill me, man. Okay, I think we're I think we're good. Let's see what we can run into out here. I wanna run into Basically I wanna run into another another one of those invaders. Let me take these things off. They don't need to be here. And they're just uh, creating weight over there where I really, really don't want it to be. Let's put that there. Right there. Okay, and what's on the map? Little guy. Uh, there's mortars out here, which we've already gotten. What am I stuck on? Something in front of me? Yeah, dang it. It's always something in front. It's what happens when you have such a huge bot. It's hard to go in between uh, little things like that. I still have tons of resources on the back still trying to be processed. The problem is, if you look at it, when I put this layer, I should have put two extra, uh, you know, like two layers so that these items would have a little bit more room to float around. As it is right now, it's very, very hard for them to, to get in there at times, and you can kind of see they just kind of sit here on this one side, which is not what I wanted. I did not want that, and I don't know. Next time, at least I know, to give it a little bit more room, especially if I'm going to go layer after layer after layer, there's no reason not to give them more space down there because it's not about the space. It's about the weight, and if you give yourself more space, it's not going to you know take anything away from your bot other than it's going to be a little bit taller uh, than it normally otherwise would have been, but again, that's not a downside as long as you have the weapons to uh, compensate for it. Come on. Kill him. Uh, I'm never going to be able to kill this little small fast bot. He's going to be able to outrun me. The only, only thing I can hope for is that I get lucky and get a few shots on him. Uh, there we go. Because once you get a few shots on him, he's pretty much dead. You know, you just do so much damage so quickly. And if you can take off a few of his tires and he just... Yep, he's already gone. Little guy. All that's left is one little block that I'm about to run over. Uh, am I pushing? Yeah, I think I'm pushing it. Where is it at? There it is. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. Okay, let's keep going out here. I want to see what trouble... Oh, there's some stuff over here. Out there in the distance. Let's just see what that is all about. And remember, you can always destroy some of these blocks and get yourself a little bit more fuel. Some of it is actually uh, labeled or described as fuel. It's used in constructing items as the fuel resource. So some of it's really, really good. It's even better than wood uh, or lumber, which is usually where I go back to get my stuff. I think these are the yellow wheels over here. Yeah, the yellow ones, but not the big ones, but the ones with... Uh, with uh, the little kind of spikes around to give you a little bit more traction. And we've already discovered those, so let's keep looking around. Uh, and if you see any of those those little platforms right there without anything floating above it, I've been told that basically what that is is, uh, you know, you found the item before you got to that, and the game uh, basically keeps... Oh, what is this over here? There's two of them, aren't there? I think there is two of them two medium-sized ones, basically. Let's see, can we take them on? Probably. I think we shouldn't have too big of a problem with this. Come on, kill him. Kill him! 
Die, fuck. I'm not even going to move until they get close enough. Come on. What has he got there? Oh, you know, he has the same things on the front of my bot, but he has them there on the side. I wonder why he put them on the side like that. That can't be a great design. Come on. Blow him up. Blow him up. Get the ah, there we go. You're dead, punk. You didn't stand a chance. You're like, I don't know, not even a quarter the size of me. You're you're like 120th the size of my bot right now. Come on, mortars, do your damage. Yeah, this is perfect. He's stuck right there on that rock. He's trying to eat through it, but for whatever reason, it's just not working. And I'm just sitting here raining fire down on him. I love, love my mortars. I know some people have said they don't really like them all that much because you got to be pretty close to use them. But I don't know. I don't have a problem with it at all. Come on. I guess we're going to have to get closer because we're just not doing enough damage for some reason. Come on, kill him. Yeah, that, that's another problem when fighting these yellow blocks. They have so many hit points. The fights last so much longer. And not in a good way most of the time. Like, usually they have no wills left or they have no weapons left and they're not really a challenge anymore. And yet, uh, you still have to sit there and try to to kill them, which can take you an extra, like, 5-10 minutes sometimes to, to get through. And you end up losing on pieces that you would normally otherwise, uh, you know, should have gotten, basically. Uh, nothing really there other than more, more yellow blocks. I don't really want those. But I will pick up one of these and put that over here. That should help my will. Uh, maybe another one over here. Oh, another enemy behind me. Freaking punk. Oh, no. Now we get... You suck so bad, man. Well, let's get back over here. <laughs> We're gonna get... Ah, crap. Too many things in front. Get out of here. Where is he? I don't even see him. Ugh. Come on. So much lag. Get away from all these items. Oh, there's another bot. Wow, and he's a pretty big one too. Huh. I don't think we want to take that guy on and the invasion at the same time. Uh, so we were going to come back out here into the desert. We'll get away from those guys for now. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best bet. Because we do have a fair bit of power, so I don't think we really have to worry about having to recharge. And I'd rather be out here where there's not a lot of stuff in my way than to be stuck over there in the forest at this moment with all that lag and what entails. So let's see, where is he going to spawn? Probably right behind me. To my right. Where is he? Here he comes already. He's already firing. Uh, he's just a little dude. I've gotten him like seven times already. He's not a hard bot. I hope they increase the, uh, the different kinds of bots that you can get out of this invasion. I mean, he's pretty nice to get if you haven't gotten all those pieces. But he doesn't have anything I really, really want at this moment. Come on. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Destroy! <laughs> You're going down. And you can see he has that design where he has the uh, the tractor pads uh, right there on top and on the sides. and It's just a weird design. Like, I don't understand the purpose behind it other than to give himself a little bit extra, you know, damage or, you know, protection from the damage. But... Those tractor pads are really expensive, so for an average player to do that, not really a good design. And he's dead. Yep. I defeated him. Yeah, because he's a little punk. He didn't stand a chance. Nothing he could have done about it. Let's see, what did he drop? Drop some weapons. Nothing really fantastic either. Ah. Yeah, I can't wait to get some of the, the better stuff, but... Let's come over here and kill this guy off. I think we're still ready for him. Not this little punk guy, but... <laughs> I do love the fast bots. I think I might actually uh, create a very fast spot when we uh, restart over again. Because I think that's where my love is. Besides the big guys, which, you know, at the at the moment really can't, you know, do too well in the game. Because of the, the limitations on, on what the, uh, the game is actually able to generate with all the different, uh, you know, because when you get two of these giant base bots, and you get a base bot as big as mine with this many weapons, and you got to remember that underneath the top of this, there's actually an entire base, like four times the size, so that's a lot of things for it to render, and if you get two of these, you know, that's, that's going to be a nightmare, and I do got to apologize to you guys, uh, if 
any of you get attacked by my base bot? If it's ever uh, exported out and one of you guys see this thing floating around, I apologize. Uh, that's probably a nightmare scenario for you because I would not want to fight this thing. This thing is a beast. But uh, a little tip for you, if you do, the back side of it is completely vulnerable. And if it's like any of the other guys that I've seen, you know, brought in, the, the chances are that all the batteries will be dead and my shield generators will be uh, useless and repair, by, or repel, repair bubbles will be useless as well because I haven't seen them really take advantage of that. There's very, very few times I've seen the enemy actually have those, you know, up and running. And usually it's because they just ran through an entire forest that I chopped down myself and they kind of have the same setup where it like recharges it that way by picking up the resources. But beyond that, I've never really seen it when they come in. I don't know if that's something they're going to change so that it can take advantage of that. Although if it did, man, I can only I can only think of just how big of a pain in the butt it would be to to take out a bot like this. I I wouldn't even want to want to consider it. And but for those of you who are wondering, if you haven't uh, gone back and watched those videos, my main bot, the little piece that you're looking for, is actually right here in the back, uh, about four spaces down in the kind of the center of my bot and it goes up to so if you come from the back of it yeah you got a few weapons you, are, you have to contend with but this thing turns so slow and if you can get underneath it you're you're pretty good you can just sit there and and needle me down with like the smallest bot that you have and that way you know if you get destroyed several times you don't lose anything but if you win oh my god you know <laughs> you get all of this and this may be more than you want but uh, at least you have your pick. Now, of course, you're not going to get the uh, the fabricators because I don't have those yet. And so, if you're looking for those pieces, uh, you know you're in the same boat as me. Well, unfortunately, this is not the one you want to kill. But uh, for everything else, holy crap, this would just be like a payday. Like you would not believe. I would love to get a bot like this at the beginning and know exactly where to go attack it with a sweet spot in the back where it's not even protected. That would be amazing. But uh, if you had to attack this thing from the front, yeah, who who wants this looking at him? I mean, that's not even all the weapons I could put on it. And eventually I will actually increase, uh, you know, that amount of weapons. Because uh, I'm going to save this game, and I think I'll probably come back to it as the patches upgrade and stuff like that. Because I just, I think it's really cool to be at this stage. And like I said, it just gets better and better with the, every patch that they come out with, so I can't wait. Again, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe definitely helps grow my channel. I do apologize for the lag. Again, that's just uh, at this stage of the game with this many things on. It's one of those things we have to contend with. And uh, they're going to get better. I have no doubt about it. And as they do, we will keep pushing the limits and creating bigger and bigger and bigger bots. I can't wait until I have a bot so big that I literally take up the entire tree uh, territory and just moving, go into the entire you know, uh, desert territory. And it's just, it's you know the size of the planet or something like that because you could technically do that you know if you have enough you know wheels and you have enough blocks uh, I don't see a limitation on how big you can make this other than uh, you know can the game handle it and at the moment uh, yeah, kind of you know it's iffy whether it can or not uh, depending on how big you make it but again guys thanks for watching and I will catch you next time